This video is brought to you by my ebook, Texting Women Like a Boss. The link is in the description. This guy says, how do you know, how, so he says, how to know what I'm doing wrong if she's not saying it clearly and I cannot ask because that's needy, LOL. So I think I did a video talking about like, um, like the, the, how women can, the, the, women, the feeling women get when you're doing the wrong things and what to do and all this other stuff. And so it's an interesting question, right? Because the question is basically saying, okay, so Harry, you're saying that, you know, I need to not do the wrong things, but I'm trying to ask women what those things are. But apparently if I ask them that, then I appear needy or desperate. And so that's not really what's going on. Like on one hand, you know, depending on what you're asking, you could look needy, but it's more about this. It's this idea that women ultimately want to date men that seem to know what they're doing with women. And it's funny because I've, I've had a lot of conversations this week with friends of mine about younger women dating older men. And there's always this viewpoint from older women that older men are all going after younger women because they can manipulate them easier. And it's because, you know, they can control them and all this other stuff. And I said, with the reverse, I said, let's do the counterpoint of that. The reason that men, older men can date younger women is because younger women are seeking out older men. When I was in high school, I had seven friends of mine that were 17 years old that were seeking out 25 year olds. I had a friend of mine years ago who was like 32 that was dating a 50 year old, you know, and that happens quite frequently. So and the reason that they do that is because the older, this is the viewpoint, the older you are as a guy, women feel like you've got more of your life put together, you're more established. And so therefore, you're more of a safe bet, not just in terms of like money and houses and stuff like that, but more about you're, you feel like a more safer bet for her stability. You're old enough to have gone through a lot of BS and learn from it. And so ideally at this point, she knows that she's you're somebody that she can trust. She can follow your leadership. You're not gonna bring her in harm's way. Ideally by that, the older you get, you've learned to chill out a bit about letting things be like rock you or you're more different to things. So you're not so overly emotional when things happen because women as they get older, they can still be emotional. But what they don't want is a guy that's equally as emotional. Like I talked about how women don't want guys that are in touch with their emotions. They want a guy that's gonna be able to handle their emotions. The older a guy is, women are thinking he can handle my emotions a lot better than a younger guy can, okay? And so because of that, it's one of those things where when you go to women and they're like, hey, so tell me what I need to do to please you or, you know, what can I do, princess, to make sure you're happier? Oh, please tell me what I did wrong. It's not that those are bad questions to ask. It's just it makes women feel more and more like you don't really get them, which now hits at their safety. Because whether we like it or not, guys, if a woman is not feeling like you can handle her or be able to handle your guys' situation, that's not going to make her feel safe and she's going to lose interest, okay? And so the thing that I try to teach you guys is this, is that it's not about, you know, going to women and saying, well, what, what things am I doing wrong? Can you tell me? Because I can assure you, if that woman tells you, she's probably not going to date you. You can go to other women and ask, and even then their viewpoint of things is going to be a bit askew. That's why it's better to go to guys that have been successful in relationships so they can tell you what's up, right? But this is why I have a channel, because I understood that I, when I tried to go to women to ask them, what am I doing wrong and what's up? I found they couldn't really tell me. Like for one, there's uh, a component where them being in it, they don't know exactly what it is. They just feel wrong. Like they feel an it, but they can't explain it. They feel a weird thing around you, but they can't under explain to you what the energy is that's making her feel weird, right? But then the other part is that you asking a woman to directly tell you what you're doing wrong, that means she has to dip into her bag of potentially being a mean person. And most women aren't trying to be mean people. And sometimes the thing you're doing could be something mean she has to tell you. For example, there was a guy that I went to college with. He had the worst smelling breath. It literally smelled like crap. Anytime somebody got next to me, started talking, his breath was just, uh, right? Couldn't understand why he couldn't get women. And no woman would tell him your breath smells like crap because that is a mean thing to say. And more importantly, Women have had the experience of telling guys exactly what it is and guys freak out. That's not a thing or you're, you're, you're just a bee or your breath smells too. And so you're not going to get the feedback you want. And if you did get it, she thinks it's going to hit at your ego. So then she loses. So this is why I create a channel. That's why I create eBooks, audio books. why I have coaching sessions because your job as a guy, you have to go out there of your own accord 
and study women. And part of that's going to mean you're going to have to go through a lot of trial and error. You're going to go out with a woman. You're going to say the wrong thing. You're going to go home and try to text her again for another date. And she's not going to accept it. You got to sit there and think about, okay, what happened during this date that potentially turned her off? Was it something I said? Was it the clone I wore? Was it the clothes I wore? Was it the topics I brought up? Was it the way that I joked about a certain thing? Did I dig at her in the way that wasn't too cool? Was I trying to like nag hit her? Was it the restaurant? Did the restaurant that I plan out crappy? Were the clothes that I wore just like tattered and not ironed? Like you got to analyze that. And then you analyze and analyze and you say, okay, I think objectively it was probably this thing. So the next date, I won't try that. You go on the next date and you don't do that thing and you get the, the second date. Fantastic. Go on the second date, and then something else happens. She's no longer interested. You got to go home. Okay, the, I, I got to the second date, but not the third one. What happened? Sometimes it's stuff you did, or maybe during the course of the date, you learned some stuff about her. Your political ideologies are different, or she's got an ex in the background, or something that just lets you know, oh, this is probably not going to go my way. And you know what? That exercise sucks. But you go through it more and you'll start to find that you get better at it each time because ultimately you'll end up learning a bunch of lessons based on your real experience. And then you'll be able to understand more. OK, I know not to do X, Y and Z, you know, simple stuff. Right. I learned in college that because I didn't know this because I was a virgin in college. I didn't I didn't know that asking women to dinner in a movie at my place was code for sex. And so I'm thinking I got a bunch of female friends. I made a bunch of food at home and I got a movie I want to see. I'll just invite one over just to hang out. Had no idea. So I had to learn, oh, okay, so if I say dinner in a movie, probably not going to get a girl to say yes on the first, if I'm asking her to come to, to hang out with me for the first time. Okay, let me just remove that from the book. So then I just asked them out on outside dates, and I found by date two or three, oh, now they're willing to come to my place. But I wouldn't have learned that if I didn't go through the trial and error of it. So all that to say is that as much as you hope that women are going to tell you what you're doing wrong, the reality is, one, they're probably not going to. B, something that you conceivably did wrong, the, the uh, alpha chat over here that she likes or has high interest in could do that same thing and it'd be totally fine. So it's not even necessarily a matter about right or wrong, but there is something to be said of like, if you're not able to properly build up her attraction, then yeah, it's going to seem like you're doing a lot of things wrong. But that starts with you knowing as a guy, A, just the ins and outs of how women work, and then also what things are generally going to attract them. I say generally because women like to come on here sometimes and say, but I'm different or, well, I fell for a guy that did this and you said they shouldn't do that. So these are generalities that I give you, meaning they should generally work. I don't teach you guys about outliers because I want you to have a better shot and a better probability of getting a woman based on what actually works for the majority of them. So you do enough stuff and you learn the right things and you'll find that your results will be a lot better to where you won't have to ask them or you'll be on a date and you'll do something and be like, oh, that was the wrong move, but you'll know it a lot faster than you would have. But that's these two. You have to go out there and get the practice. And the problem that you may be having is that you're simply not getting enough practice with women. Because if you don't get enough practice, then everything's theory. Look, I think my videos are great. My ebooks are great. My video courses are amazing. You will, you, I've had so many guys write me and say, Harry, I've gotten into relationships because of you. I've gotten a girlfriend because I listened to what you said. And but but you know why they got that feedback? Because they went out there heard my stuff, and then practiced it. If you're just being an internet or keyboard jockey, you will never get the practice. You might be in your head be like, oh, I know all this stuff now. But I back in the day, I was the keyboard jockey. I would go to like online, uh, uh, I would go to forums where guys are talking about dating and I would suck up all the stuff that I could. And I'd be like sitting there like, yeah, I know what I'm talking about. But until I went out and practiced it, totally different because going out and practicing it, I'd be like, okay, I thought I knew everything. And then I tried this thing and I got th thrown for a curveball because I didn't know this other thing that I needed to know. But now I know that because I have tactile evidence and proof and I was able to feel it and I know it and it's good. So yes, listen to my stuff, listen to the free stuff, buy the stuff that I'm selling, but also, also use it. Go out there and actually practice it, actually get some real world experience. And that's going to help you know a lot more about what you're actually doing wrong. So that way you won't have to ask women because again, most women either don't know, don't know how to tell you, or aren't able to try verbalize that you doing a thing versus somebody else, it's, it's different, you know? So hopefully that answers that guy's question.